going on, y'all? Cookie Cooks. How y'all been? Y'all been out here ratting and tightening it up for the end of the summer? Bitch, I have. Okay, listen here. Bro, I've been out here trying to holler at your brother. Say, nah. I've been mingling and flirting and shit. I got my Queen of Wines hair doing. I'm a little tropical bitch. Say, nah. Fire. I'm a little fiery chick right now. Cyrus, what is you doing? Look, this dog on, um, I love that song. Um, the stage still burning. So I was asking Spirit to give us clarity and truth on a love situation in our life. Spirit and ancestors, give us love for care. Cancer Leo, because even though we always get love, the Spirit always want to hit us with the, hit us with the heat. Give us some clarity and truth about love in our life right now, spirit and ancestors. What's the energy surrounding Cancer Leo Cups and love? What's going on with y'all? Clarity and truth for Cancer Leo Cups and love. I don't know why I came down to love. The moon. Mm, yeah, somebody hiding something. Somebody's trying to paint you a picture. It's an illusion. Somebody. Oh, no. We got to redo it because, baby, the stork was trying to hide. Number 32. The stork was hiding. And number 17. Did the stork just try to hide on us? You see that shit? The stork was hiding. Oh, yeah. It's secrets. Somebody was hiding stuff. Didn't I say that with that moon? Mm hmm. Clarity and true spirit and ancestors for cancer, the old cuss, and love. What's the love energy for my cancer Leo cups? You got this nigga right here. You know, this is that bitch that cut, she will cut Jesus off. Okay? And then it's the rider. This that, I call this, I'm here for a good time, not a long time, baby. Just calm down, okay? You gonna get on the horse or not, sugar? <laughs> you getting on the horse or you not? Oh my God, the net just flew dead into the sage fire. What the fuck, Spirit? Like, what do that mean? Oh shit, I feel like a handicap with this thing. Yeah, it's dead, y'all. It killed itself. Oh, nah, I don't know what that is. That's gonna have me wondering all day. I'm about to pay attention to everything that's going on now. Fuck. Birds are fucking. They fuck the They make you a sucker. It ain't monetized and fuck. Oh, I know I'm right for this new day. Oh, we about to do some um some messages of love for my cancer Leo cuz. This is the love oracle deck, baby. Let's see. We about to see what the messages of love for y'all is. My boy is just so sweet. I just love me some Osiris, y'all. This is like my right hand man. Like, if I can buy him a gun, I would get him a gun. He would be my bodyguard. Ain't that racist? Boo, 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 boo. Ain't you my little bodyguard? I just always cradle this cat, and I never thought I would be attached to the baby like this. Plenty of chicks, weird and ancestors. He is the baby, and. Aries is huge and fluffy, but he is just that tall. He's like, if 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 he was a man, he'd be my type. Is that gross? Yeah, I'm starting to like them damn incest people. Them, them people that see the animals. Clarity and truth for Cancer Leo Cups and the love. What's the love energy surrounding my Cancer Leo Cups? Give me some messages of love. Warning messages to my Cancer Leo Cups and love. Just, just tell us the tea spirit on the love situation for my cup. That was number 10 and number 1. Ooh, look at this shit. 10 on 1. These are called some specific kind of numbers. Ah, damn, where my tablet? My sister had us looking them up now because it was 12 and 21. We was looking up them doggone numbers. Mirror. They, they mirror numbers. Oh, my God. Spirit is showing out, y'all. This reading about to get thick. I thought this was about to be another quick one. This is not. Spirit, come on. Expose them. Clarity and truth and love for my cancer, Leo Cuts. What's the T, sis? What's the T? Oh, shit. 
Give me the energy for Cancer Leo Cups and Love. What's this love energy going on? Tell us the truth. What do they need to know? Expose these souls. Okay, spirit. Heart with a key. Ooh. It's a welcoming love meeting the one open your heart getting together perfect oh snookies my snookies growing up my little snookies is growing up tell me spirit and ancestors more about this love and the deep cancer leo cup hey y'all this song keep coming on don't make me over and that's what we want. We want somebody that loves us for us, not make us over. Passion, insane chemistry, like each other, like each other equally having fun. Ooh, yes, I love it, y'all. I love it. I love these cards. What else my cancer needs, the cups need to know and love? What else going on? What's the tea? What's the secrets about this love energy? Is there anything Cancer Leo Cuss need to know about love? Spirit and answers. Y'all meeting people. I'm glad. Heartbroken. Spirit, where the fuck you come from with this now? Deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, and mourning. Look, that's a sad bitch. I don't want nothing to do with her. I wouldn't be shocked if she had a gun in her hand. Because that bitch was crazy. You know, I'm doing two sides here. It's two cards, two sides. That 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 cut off chick. I can't pronounce this, y'all. I can't pronounce it. Her and this rider. This rider could be this one that's heartbroken. This energy. Tell me more. Give me another card, spirit and answer. Cancer Leo cuts with this love energy. Tell me more about Cancer Leo cuts and this love energy. Cancer Leo Cuts. Love energy. Dead by dawn. Date. Meeting someone new. Dating. Getting back out there. Plan. Set a date. Ooh. This heartbreak about to go into somebody meeting. Meeting somebody else and start dating. This could have been what happened to the person you're dating now. They got their heart broke. And now they're out here dating again. It could be a masculine energy. You might be running into a masculine energy. What's the collective love energy for cancer and their person? What's the collective? Sudda, sudda, shine. Attraction, flirty, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. Oh, God. Spirit, you going to force my hand. Third party interference can be anything. It could be a child. It could be the crackhead at the liquor store that won't shut up. I don't fucking know. It could be anybody. We don't know yet. Let's hope for the best. And then, oh God, here go the warning signs. A snake. The snake. Competition. Enemy. Clever. Malice. I mean, malicious. Look over your shoulder. The other woman. Ooh, that's when you know for sure it's another bitch lurking 63rd. Okay, it's somebody lurking, bitch. This, uh, this, it could be her. You never know. It's just you cutting somebody out because of her. Plenty and true spirit and ancestors. This heart with the key. Tell me about this heart with the key for my cancer Leo cuts. What's going on with this heart with the key for my cancer Leo cuts and love? This is love energy. Leo for spirit and ancestors heart with a key heart with a key cancer Leo cups heart with a mother fucking key okay let's cut it let's bust it down wide open the six of six of swords in reverse this heart with a key and the six of swords in reverse. Either you're not giving something no life anymore, you're not going towards it anymore, you're headed in a different direction, or somebody is staying where they're at. They're staying put. They're not going no further than where they're at. Ah. Oh, I gotta say this off for a minute, y'all. Uh. 
Y'all, Capitano ain't no joke. I'm gonna tell y'all now. It ain't no joke. It's not no joke. Clarity and truth for this heart with the key. Tell us about this heart with the key for my Cancer Leo Cubs. The truth. The truth is coming in. Somebody's about to pull up and tell you the truth. Somebody's about to pull up and fight for you and tell your ass the truth. Somebody's about to skirt on you. This is some type of impulsive behavior too, but they want clarity and understanding. Why is the Son of Swords here for this heart with the key? The Seven of Wands, they don't want to fight either. I mean, they're standing their ground, too. They're not. Either you're going to stand your ground against this person or against the truth, or you're going to stay in your truth. If something doesn't make you happy, you're about to get out of this situation. And I don't blame me. Oh, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe, and check out my second page, Empress Watson. Y'all know what my original name was. But I'm back with all signs on Empress Watson, so go ahead and check me out, poo. Uh, I'm about to conclude my... Uh, 13 signs today all 13 signs to be up i think i stopped at capricorn so i ain't got much to do uh it could be you defending your heart protecting your heart and protecting what you want what you seek and what you looking for and i don't blame you bitch give me another card with this heart with the key you looking for that perfect and, and you know what my friend had told me and it was some real ass shit though i ain't gonna lie she said, why you can't have perfect? Why do you got to settle for somebody that has these discrepancies with themselves? And, she, and you know what? She was fucking right. Why I can't have perfect? And then perfect is not just perfect in the world. Perfect is my definition of perfect. King of Pentacles out here. God of Pentacles is out here. This could be the one with the key coming in. To fight for your ass. I don't fucking know. We're going to find out who he is though later. But this could be you. You could be in your bag right now. Focusing on your coins. And I don't know. This could. It's a the one. Open your heart. Getting together. Perfect. This could be somebody you might wind up getting into with. Have some type of communication with. But they're not having any other kind of communication with you. They're coming in to rectify something. And they, they, they're going to fight. This is somebody who's going to fight to the end. I don't know what's... But you know what? Retrograde is starting today, tonight. It started. The 20th? Another retrograde. This is the third retrograde, you all. Y'all ready for it? Because Spirit about to send them old lessons back to you. Them lessons that you thought you completed, you took care of, you was finished with. They about to come surface. Like, now nah, you wasn't finished... Your gangster is about to get tested with this energy, okay? And it's like this is the last step to you actually moving on. Tell me more about this passion energy, this insane chemistry. Whoever this is, you got some insane. And somebody's holding on to that energy from you. They holding on to that passion, that equal last love that you all have for each other. Tell us more about passion and cancer Leo cousin love. Here she go, Queen of Pentacles. Look, this is his wife in his head. This is your husband. This is your wife. And they're coming with this clarity and it's true. Because you know what? I feel like they think you are all of their options. You're everything they need. It's not an illusion. I'm not looking at this card as an illusion. I'm looking at this card as just flat out. This is the person that they want. They got every all of the cups that I need in these pentacles. Look, they all in your braids, okay? They got all of it. They're holding on to you by any means necessary because deep down you are their wife. Tell me more about this passion energy for my Cancer Leo because this is so cute, y'all. This is straight up a, a, a serious ass couple. A hung man. You're waiting or they're waiting. You missing this passion. You're not giving it to nobody else. The tower is here and the seven of swords that caused the tower and it's not ending this cycle with you all. So tell me who this is, Pooh. Who is this little one, thingling, thing, 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 that's waiting, taking their time, trying to see things for what it really is, or they have seen things for what it really is with you. You know, I'm feeling like some of y'all are not about to be willing to admit that this particular person, this could be somebody you don't want back. Girl, look, this is somebody you don't want nothing to do with the earth sign. I'm going to just say that. But you his wife, 
bitch, whether you like it or not, and she your wife, whether you like her or not, bro, listen, this your wife, this, or somebody see you as your wife, they have a lot of passion for you. They about to try to seduce the hell out of you. Tell me about this heartbroken. Why is heartbroken here for my cancer Leo cousin love? Who is in this heartbroken energy? The seven of pentacles. Somebody invested in something that broke their heart. Somebody was waiting. So this is the seven years. Y'all know how I am about that seven. Some seven years have come to a full circle and somebody is finally making this decision. This is an investment that you've been waiting on. It's about to... Oops, oh, not spirit. Now, you know damn well you ain't had to do all that. You ought to be You ought to be ashamed of yourself, spirit. I would have never did that to you. <laughs> she got all these cards on her. What else we need to know about this heartbreaking? the separation somebody's feeling lost after all this time you all probably have some history together baby tell me more about this heartbroken for seven for seven years so cancel the old cup oh the supreme be oh listen the supreme is here we got justice here and we got a guy oh shit we got the ace of wands i mean ace of swords in reverse and we got the devil in reverse that is some shit now. Ooh, come on out then. Having a first But I'm about to read the Supreme. It seemed like spirit spirit caused this ending. What do y'all know? All is connected. All is you. And at this time, you have the power to connect fully and be your all-powerful self, the Supreme. From stardust, our immoral immorality souls arise and merge into form, and by destiny, our occurrence, just as rare as the sight of an eclipse, shall ascend a true force, the supreme, the supreme. Her pure intentions are blessed by the universe as she caresses a journey that moves at the pace of her will. Ooh, child. She is guided by her ancestors and merging all her lessons to accomplish her goals. This resilient goddess is at no time defeated because she knows she is indeed a true goddess, only bound by mortal form and all she wishes at all times is possible. Look, and that ain't even a rest, okay? But at the end of the motherfucking day, you manifested healing, okay? Karmic justice, equal balance, and you have released some bullshit, some toxic ways, or an addiction, or an obsession for somebody. You have released, you remember we burned the pussy? We burned up somebody's dead out of our goddamn pussy. This ace of swords, somebody doesn't have clarity. Someone wants clarity. Somebody's not understanding their karmic justice. Somebody is not understanding why this is happening to them or why is it that they're getting a bad karma at the end of this deal. And you guys to understand, people don't might not see shit as good as you might see it. People might not see things as great as you or as intuitive as you. You are intuitive. That's why they're considering you to the supreme karma justice is being restored okay everything as you know it that broke your heart that that stood in your way that tried to take from you is coming to flourishing okay it's getting restored back to its proper owner okay you releasing these devil you're releasing your toxic ways your toxic thoughts uh, your habits and stuff you're purifying your body your mind and your soul and you're not allowing yourself to be clouded by society or what society say or what well everybody know this and everybody know this and it's always like this no because you have a choice and once you understand free will you won't be sitting up here saying everybody know this everybody know that uh such and such is are like this these people are like that you will know that okay don't get me started, okay? Y'all about to do it. Y'all about to do it. Y'all about to do it. If there's a question about my boss, 
It said this Ace of Swords can represent a lack of clarity. Your idea may be present. However, you may not be confident enough to put it all into action. Believe in yourself, Goddess. Rise your sword. Okay? Rise this motherfucker. Okay? She looking to the moon for clarity. She need to rise it. You know what? It say rise your sword and slay the confusion and claw the judgment so that you can truly win. And that's what we are here for today. We need to, we're trying to get that clarity. It's like we have it in our head, but we're doubting it. We're questioning it. We're wondering if we're doing right, if we're making the right decision. But you have released a lot of toxicity. Don't let nothing back in you because the devil will get you from different corners. Y'all know that. Okay, your lower self will arise in different corners. Your devil will rise in different corners and come at you full-fledged. You see this nosy bitch? Ain't nobody said nothing to her. She supposed to be playing music. Ain't nobody... Hey, Google. Play music. What the fuck is she talking about? She talking about a mountain. I should have listened. That's what I get for being a uh, nappy-head Negro. I should have listened. Damn. Y'all can't come on my house because I be talking about all kinds of crazy shit and my family be, we be having a ball. So, if you Caucasian or, or anything like that, don't take that serious. That's between us black people, okay? Anyway, y'all got to understand, you're not clear, but I'm going to tell you something. You are clear. Stop rejecting your intuition. Allow her to flourish because she wants to let, she want to let loose. It's something you need to know after this heartbreak has clouded you a little bit. So you fear another heartbreak. And now you possibly could be fearing breaking someone else's heart. But if this person isn't feeling you emotionally, you cannot be scared to hurt someone else's heart to save yours. And that's what us, our cancer side. We, that emotional ass shit, we try to take everybody else in. To consideration and stuff for ourselves, and do we always wondering why we sitting up here with this broke ass fucking heart? No, it's time to stand and deliver on ourselves and for what we want. Stop letting people control you. Tell me about this date energy, this meeting someone new energy, because that's what you need. You need to stand up to something so you can meet somebody new. God, y'all are kind of out. Oh, y'all got the good ones too. Damn, for some reason, this is making me emotional. So, if this helping anybody at all, please let me know. Because I done got super emotional. Y'all stinking help us down there, but made me cry because somebody really needs to hear this. From this deck to me not doing the reading last night like I was. I was about to do a reading at 4 o'clock in the morning, bitch. Y'all just don't know. But And then this deck, this particular deck, me putting that in our, my head. Sugar, sugar. I love that damn man. We're going to do some clarifying, though. We got to clarify something. You bad, cool? Oh, this your ass. Oh, God. Somebody is getting the guidance to keep going, keep dating. Don't just don't just lock down right now. Don't lock down on the first thing that pay you some attention. Don't let nobody think that you're the best that they going to get, bitch. Don't you ever let no nigga think you the best. That, that they the best that, they, that you gonna get. Remember, you gotta show them what water can do. And then you gonna hit them with that fire. You gonna set fire to the rain. That's what this reading is. You setting fire to the goddamn rain. You is. I'm about to play that. Hold on. I know my kids hate this song. I used to play this song for 30 days and 30 nights. And then rumor has it. And then I'll play this again. You couldn't tell me nothing with set fire to the rain because, bitch, listen, you can't tell me nothing. I was the fire in the rain, too. Ooh, bitch. Bitch, you couldn't tell me nothing. Tell me about this day energy for my cancer, Leo, because what up? It said plan, set a date. Yeah, you about to set a date. You about to start planning, and hanging out. This can really be somebody you not even expecting for some reason. That's when I'm getting the Ten of Cups. It's in reverse. Yeah, you need to keep dating because at the end of the day, what you think is about to be a happily ever after is something going on. Something not right about this situation. You're being impulsive. I really feel like you're being impulsive. Tell me more about this date. Okay. Nine of Wands in reverse. You're going to have to stand your... No, you're giving up. 
You could be giving up on this situation and focusing on yourself. Look. Four of Wands and the Six of Swords in reverse. Get your stupid ass off of me. You always come over here doing stupid shit. It's always them fucking females. Yeah, I'm talking to you. You know what you did. That's why you looking stupid. Man, I'm telling you. Them damn female cats that make you rock their jaw. I swear. Tell me. Well, temperance is here. Healing and balance. Stick on my boo. See, tell her how to. This ain't Gina. You done fool your ass back over here. This girl got teleporting powers. She just teleported literally right back over here. And I didn't even see the smoke. Games you play, you would always win, always win. But I set fire. That's what's going to happen, y'all. Y'all going to set fire to the fucking rain on the somebody. It is, because look at this. Look at this. This is fire and water energy. And that's not, it's, not, it's, 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 what you call that stuff? It's air, it's air energy, but this water mixed with this fire, with this little bit of water. You about to act a fucking fool on some damn body. Somebody you possibly been dating, or you don't see a future in a relationship and it's something that you have started with someone, you, you, you see this going bad. You see this going downhill because it's not 100% what you want. It's like you're going to sacrifice yourself or you're about to just suffer just to get be with this person because you think this is all you can get bitch don't you ever in your your motherfucking life settle for something because you think this is good as it's gonna get with you if you made it this far for somebody who can do what they're doing for you you can make it further than that you got to believe, you got to have the patience, and you have to heal. You got to move them clouds. That's why that moon came out. Move them clouds and move forward. Three of Pentacles. You got to trust yourself. Don't don't stay stuck in the contract. Stop! Stop! Tell me about this seduction energy for my Cancer Leo Cups and love. Why is seduction here? The Six of Cups. Something you to heal from. Look. It's somebody in your past. So you're not about to tell me nothing different. What else is going on with this six of cups? This somebody from your childhood. This somebody who you really thought to have a future with. Somebody you knew a long time. The moon and the doggone god of cups. Listen here. Somebody is in love. This is some serious love from the past. This could be a Scorpio. This somebody you can't get rid You know what? You can be hiding this secret. You could be having a third party. You could be involved with somebody else. Somebody could be seeing you as a wife, but you sitting over here and you got this, you got this little secret Scorpio over here that you loving on. Ooh, you're hiding him with this moon energy and his somebody from your childhood. Oh, spirit, you dirty. Now you being nosy, not spirit, you being nosy. Or someone is still in love with someone from their past. Oh, y'all so dirty, right? Scoundrels in this bitch. I see it. I see it. We got all signs out here. I can't get to just one sign because all of y'all out here. Aquarius, Sagittarius, the Capricorn, the Libra, uh, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Pisces, uh, Virgo, Taurus. Capricorn, Pisces again. Y'all really fucking with these Pisces, ain't y'all? I'm blame you. Oh, this is just so fucking juicy, y'all. Listen, who is this person in your past, though? It's like, it, it don't feel like, I'm, it's no bad energy between you and this person, but you're hiding this King of Cups. It's another King of Cups out here, and you're hiding them. Listen, y'all about to have a lot going on doing this retrograde. I feel it. Spirit about to put the put the stank on this shit with y'all. Y'all gonna have to y'all gonna have to show up. Y'all about to have to show up. I need a pretty day. I need another like. <laughs> 
All my dicks sound fierce, but I need one that's going to give off this love energy. Where is Egypt? Come here, Egypt, and tell us what to... Egypt, how dare you sit here, Kimmy? No, I'm not. You know, Kimmy about to put the stake on it. Kimmy about to say, put some respect on my name. Oh, that's about to be juicy. This juicy, y'all. Look at that judgment. Ooh. Spirit and ancestors, child, listen. Tell us about this God of Pentacles, Spirit and ancestors. Who is this God of Pentacles with the card? This is could be somebody that still holds the key to your heart, or you still hold the key to theirs. They do. They still. You still hold the key. They still hold it, or vice versa, however it go. But it's this one God is a tough child here that's coming in. He pulling up. I guess he about to seduce the fuck out of you. Tell me about this God of Pentacles, Spirit and Ancestors. Who is this God of Pentacles to my Cancer Leo Cups? The Nine of Spectres to send me first. <laughs> he either giving up. Tell me, give me another energy for this God of, God of Pentacles for my Cancer Leo Cups. You got the Magician in reverse and you got the Ace of Wands in reverse. Girl, look at here. This an angry bastard. This King of Pentacles is a mad hatter. He upset. Oh, he ain't getting no pussy. He getting karma out of this world. He trying to put something on you or he been putting stuff on you and he's wondering why it's not working. He's trying to do everything he can instead of face the possibility or face the truth of the matter. And the truth of the matter is he fucked up. Oh, child, bro. These people are crazy. Why do people get mad when they fuck up with you and now they want to destroy what you got going on because you don't want nothing to do with them no more? I hate that. Stop it. I, I, I don't, listen, y'all, this King of Pentacles, whatever, God of Pentacles, is having some serious mental trauma. And they, they actually really believe that they, this is somebody who never, ever, ever, ever thought they could do anything to make you go away. And you have done it. Or this could be somebody new. This is somebody new that you're dealing with. And it's King of Pentacles energy that's giving you the half ass truth with this, uh, Knight of Swords are coming in trying to force something with you instead of going slow with you. But they have a lot of mental issues. And I don't know if you're willing to deal with these issues. Oh my God, y'all. And this is the big sister. And she know better out of all of them. I don't know. This is a new person, though. Somebody you just met, about to met, but they are very mentally disturbed. And it's not no passion between you two. Somebody could be doing spell work on you two to not have this. Or this could be this could be somebody you're not in communication with, but coming back to you. You're going to stop communicating with. I don't trust him, okay? I'm just going to say it. I don't care if he upright or not. Because the magician in reverse, he's very deceitful, very manipulative. It feels like he's hiding something. And then this Ace of Wands, you don't feel the emotional, I mean, the sexual chemistry or attraction towards this person yourself, though. It's something, I'm not getting a... a... Listen here, the motherfucker is delusional and powerless. He's very dishonest. He's very manipulative. I don't like this person. I'm mad now. I'm not going to lie. Because I don't like how I feel. My stomach hurt. I'm shivering. It's something about this person. It's a local. Local motor. You cannot trust nothing he says. He has serious mind issues. This is somebody that comes around and try to force their weight onto you. This could be somebody that have an issue with women. He has a very, 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 very big ego. Look, I can't stop looking at these cards. All three of these cards together, this person is psycho. I mean, vacate the premises, y'all.
I'm, I'm telling you, this person is not going to know how to touch you. They're not going to know. It's, it, it, it. Honestly, I wouldn't be... I wouldn't be shocked if they had some type of uh, past sexual frustration about their sexuality. They're trying to understand their own sexuality. They don't know how to approach women. They boost on themselves a lot with that fire, that ace of wands. I'm about to go all day on this person. Look, I don't want y'all to trust them. I'm not trying to tell you how to do. You can do what you want to do. It's just I'm scared. My body feels scared about this person. And that could be the clarity that you're looking for. This feeling that you're getting about this person. You're trying to see where it comes from. This person ain't right, y'all. And I'm going to tell y'all the truth. He's going to make himself look real, 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 real nice to you. He's going to present himself nice. He going to boost. He going to talk about everything he have, everything he got. And in all actuality, this person is, op you're not going to be happy with them. Financially, they probably can give you the world. But sexually, you're going to be pissed. No wonder you sitting over here with this King of Cups or this Scorpio energy. Are you hiding them? Because this is somebody from your past that's about to seduce the fuck out of you or is in the middle of seducing you you're gonna be stuck you're gonna be hooking up with his ass and he's gonna be interfering with this situation but he's, is he really interfering though is he really a third party or is he really about to save you from making the biggest mistake of your life child tell me about this doggone uh queen of pentacles that cancer you came straight the fuck out god damn Somebody wants to reconcile. They're going to want to reconcile. You're not going towards this energy no more. And, but they want to reconcile with you. The five of swords is in reverse. They put you in competition with their mental state. Just because you ain't in. Look. The ten of uh, scribes. Ten of pentacles. This person is going to. They're acting like they about to wish. They're about to. Uh, okay y'all. I'm having a moment. Hello. They about to act like. They're going to give you the world, but they're hiding something. They are most definitely hiding something. With this Queen of Pentacles right here, and this, this, this chariot in reverse with the Five of Swords in reverse, you're not coming towards you. They think you're going to come to them to rectify things with them, and you are not. This, this relationship isn't moving forward. You're not even moving forward emotionally. They can have you in competition with their mind and with their sexuality. I'm telling you, this person is not turning you on and they're not giving you what you want. You're being stuck. You're taking your time. Tell me about this hangman hey energy. Why is this hangman hey energy here, spirit and ancestors? Five of Pentacles in reverse. Give me another card for the hangman. Give me another card for this hangman. And the hair fine. It could be a Taurus waiting on you. Don't you stop loving me. Don't quit loving me. Whoever is in this hangman energy that's waiting, they can feel like they're being hit with bad luck. Some type of bad luck has came to them. This could be two people. This could be you. Feeling like you having bad luck in love, honestly. You you probably been loved and you lost. You probably been faced with a lot of greed or somebody. You probably feeling like you're in, in a... Listen here. You in so much motherfucking debt and karmic retribution. You're at the part of your life when you're trying to figure out, like, what am I going to do? It's like the Jane Eyre, whatever, that deck I have. When she married into, a, she married the rich man to save her family. And that's what it seems like you possibly could be doing. But it could be somebody coming along to teach you, to help you, or to teach this hung man. And to help this hung man. Uh, go down the path that he needs to go to for his karmic retribution pay his karmic debt and make his way out of it successfully without falling into the into ruin
Hey, y'all know what? It's really hard being intuitive. This level of intuitive and having to read cards because somebody is going through so much. They really is. Somebody is going through, and it could be you. And then it could be you thinking it's you. I need to find out it's somebody that's heavenly connected to you that's going through hell. And they want you so bad. They know they, they it, you're their security blanket, but you know you. this is not the time for you to help this person. Because if you step in, it, their karma will become yours. But this King of Pentacles, and don't look at it as a biz, uh, 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 earth sign. Please don't. Look at this as a business. A business-minded person. They're manipulating you. They're manipulating you because they're paying attention to you. So they're using what you want, what you need, what you're looking for against you. They might come to you in financial ruin while you in financial ruin. And they're trying to set you up to marry you. Don't trust this person. Please don't trust this person because this heartbreak is going to be more than a heartbreak. Mm. Damn. This is fucked up. This is not what I wanted. <laughs> Tell me about the Supreme. But you know this. Your intuition know this. Tell me about this Supreme energy. The Six of Pentacles and Judgment in Reverse. See, this person is not making a decision about nothing. Listen, this is somebody who's listened to you talk. They're taking your words. They're switching that shit the fuck around. They're giving it back to you, making it look nice. You're too smart for this. You got to understand they're not going to make a decision about nothing. And it's, this is not equal reciprocity, okay? Because no amount of money that somebody fucking give you is going to equate to the mental games that they are playing. The spells they putting on your life. They're stagnant in you. They're stag they know you are more than what you look like, okay? Because you know how people are based things off of what you look like and where you came from. And then when they hear you talk, they be looking like, who the fuck is this bitch? You know, I know because that's what had happened at my white daddy house until we wound up in the regional's office, okay? Don't fucking play with me. Okay, don't insult my intelligence because I choose to work here part-time because it's fun and I get all the deals in the world. Don't let these people have you twisted. Bring the rain. What's I really say? Bring the rain on these hoes. What is this judgment in reverse energy, spirit and ancestors for my cancer Leo? Don't, 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 don't fuck up your judgment. Don't let this be you fucking up your own judgment. Not, you not healing properly. You're not fully healed to take on a relationship right now. You're scared. You're, you, you fear what's to come. Your vision is clouded. Don't allow this to destroy you, Cubs. Come on now. Don't do this. You're better than this. You're not 100% healed. You might think you are. You are not 100% healed. Oh, this Ace of Swords would be in the upright. You got to make sure your clarity is on point. You might lose some, win some, whatever, but you got to make sure your clarity is on point. Excuse me. Tell me about this justice energy for my cancer, Leo, because with this heart broken. Heart broke. Tell me about this justice energy. Oh, shit. The warrior of cups is here to come spread some love on you. Give some love juice. Tell me about this justice energy for my cancer, Leo, because it could be another cancer crisis to Scorpio, but he's blocked. King of Cups came out face down, still had in his hand. Somebody could be hiding their love, or somebody's hiding their hand. A, a Scorpio out here. We got the page of scrubs. This could be a child. And we got the courage. Strength card, and we got the Ace of Pentacles. For justice. This betrayal or you rejecting this person all offer is going to bring a karmic balance to period to you to them to everything because you're gonna you're gonna hold on to your investment now pay attention this motherfucker might play your ass you might fall for the okie doke and they play you and they take all your abundance to you just because you get karmic retribution for this situation in the end that doesn't mean it's okay for the simple fact you're not learning a lesson 
You're not getting through your head to stop letting people fuck over you. You're not paying attention to the red flags. You're ignoring the red flags to feed your ego, to feed your flush. Look, cups, look, I'm coming to you, okay? I'm bringing the rain because you're not understanding that you are a motherfucking empress, okay? And you single and you free and you doing whatever the fuck you want to do, okay? This is what you will be when you walk away from the bullshit, okay? You block this damn treacherous ass energy. Let this shit, let, let, let it go. Stop that lonely shit you be up there feeling. I know, I know how y'all feel now, damn it. You be feeling lonely, you be needing somebody. I really need somebody. Tell me, yeah, that's somebody. But it's time for you to really, really set fire to the rain. Set fire to your emotions. It's time for you to put them on the back burner. I ain't saying let your Leo side lead. I'm trying to say find a balance between the two. And listen to this son. You about to come in like a wrecking ball with this person. And this person about to come in with a wrecking ball like you. And they are about to hurt you. Look. They're stopping your money. They're making you feel like you can't do it. They about to wreck you. Don't make me cry for y'all now, shit. Cause damn. The thing is, why would somebody do this? Why would somebody want to do this to you? Or what lesson is it you're not getting that's bringing this back into your life? And it's coming during a retrograde. So this is something you haven't faced yet. Don't don't be desperate in love. I'm telling you, set fire to the rain. What is this devil in reverse about? Ooh, child. What is this devil in reverse about spirit and ancestors? And here go the chariot again. You moving away from this devil expeditiously. <laughs> Number seven. You moving away from this toxic energy, your toxic way of thinking, and you headed towards what you deserve, what you love, and what you feel is right. What trust your intuition if you having that feeling of disgust or irritation or I don't want to be bothered trust it don't be like well you always sympathizing with somebody with your punk ass and yeah I'm talking to you from one cuss first to another you and your sympathetic ass bullshit okay get the fuck on these people is not sympathizing with you it's time to blaze the gun it's time to bust the gun bitch okay y'all getting on my nerves Tell me about this chariot. Where's this chariot headed? Ch Y'all headed. Clean up out this bitch. Spirit that came out and showed nine of pentacles in reverse. Possibly a relationship or to a Virgo. A Virgo is coming towards you. It's somebody out here that genuinely do love you, though. It's somebody out here that love you. Somebody from your past, your deep past, your childhood. Somebody love you and they're hiding their love for you. And you might see it. You might see little glimpses. Things that they doing now might be different. You're not used to them acting like this. You're not used to them talking to you a certain way, but they are. Tell me about this Ace of Swords in reverse. Why is the Ace of Swords in reverse for Cancer Leo because they love? This is the Emperor and the Will of Fortune. Baby, it ain't over. Okay, this is some karma. You have, you don't have clarity on this empress. And look, another 10. 10, 10, 10. You don't have clarity on this situation at all. It's not, no, you're not sure about this emperor or you know how you can be so far up your own ass that you're not seeing what's about to come towards you. Hey, now. Woo! 
I know with that damn strength card, you was being a little weak ass motherfucker. Y'all being weak. And I ain't said spirit said it. You letting your ego. Sometimes you be feeling like your ego in a doggone way, and it is. Like, chill out with that ego ass shit. We just talked about, like, last night at the little block party. <laughs> You know, the little uh, C-Murder came in, right? I called him C-Murder. Shut up, y'all. That nigga was C-Murder. They said C-Murder free, y'all. And then he started clowning a little young dude about his Mustang. So a little young dude parks his Mustang. He come over in C-Murder place and talk about, nigga, who the fuck is you? This my motherfucking block. I do it. Hey, 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 hey. He was spatting at the little old nigga, right? He was old. He was C-Murder age. So, um... Man, I ain't gonna lie. See, murder was ripping that nigga a mud hole, and the boy couldn't take it. His ego was shot. He gets out. He goes back to his car and do all of this shit in the middle of the street and blew his whole transmission. And then, see, murder blurted out and said something, something. I was buzzing, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. This nigga was like... The whole transmission threw you away. He said something about the transmission threw him away instead of him throwing the transmission away. That, that shit was so much of crazy, man. We laughed so fucking hard. It did. Go, it was the battle of the block, right? One half, it was old school. You know, we got the nerve to be old school now. I cannot believe this. So we was having our little situation. It was stakes. Stakes and something that night we had. And then on the other end, the young kids is down there. It was the nephews and nieces and stuff. But they said they about to integrate the party. And, baby, they integrated that motherfucker party. Because the young niggas, they came to chill with the Al Ducks. And I ain't gonna lie, some of them was looking scrunches. And I got ditched for a drone. Yeah, I did. The dude said, fuck me. And he wouldn't play with his drone. And, um... Me being a single little lady that I am, I went and played with other men. <laughs> but the funny part is, as soon as I started talking to another man, here he come. I hate people like that. But the, the one thing I made sure to always remember is I'm single. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes you would be with a man, and I didn't show up with him. I made sure I didn't show up with him for a reason, because it's nothing solidified between him and I. But... The one thing I hate is when a man believes they going to control you because y'all spend separate time together. Bitch, I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want to do. This bitch going to call. This bitch going to talk about, oh, I was asleep. Oh, my God. This bitch is stupid. Okay, anyway. So, um... What was I talking about, y'all? I'm sorry. Oh, you're unclear of this emperor's uh, fortune after what other whatever indiscretions they went through, okay? You're trying to figure out somebody you're dating. You're trying to figure out somebody that you're with, somebody who betray, portrayed themselves as an emperor, okay? They, you, you're wondering why they're... Uh, stagnant and having set, setbacks and having the, uh, the negativity around them that they're having uh, it goes back to what I was saying about this king of uh, king of pinnacles so this emperor could be this king of pinnacles because you're trying to understand it, it could be a reversal of karma for this person he could be financially getting set back because of something that he did he invested into something or his his broken heart or something he's done to you tell me about this star energy star energy for cancer leo cubs and love spirit and ancestors why is this star energy here the devil is in reverse that's just going away from that toxic energy tell me more about this star why is the devil in reverse for the star energy Ace of Cups, somebody wants to go make a new offer someplace else. Where's this Ace of Cups going, Spirit and Ancestors? A new beginning in love. So, look, if you want to know the truth about something, this is what happened. Somebody went towards something else. Either you're going to figure out somebody's toxic ways and head towards somewhere else, or, ooh, an uh, Empress in reverse.
Somebody, it's two marriages in this. Bro. King of Pentacles is married. And this uh, Emperor and Empress is married. But I think this Emperor and Empress is now divorced. Listen, somebody... Listen. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Somebody's going back to somebody toxic. Somebody's about to use you. Buff your head all up. Use you. And they're going to go back to something toxic. Once they money come in, they're going to go back to something. Because right now they're having bad looking things. Okay? And that's why you're unclear of what's going on. And mind you, they could have another spouse or something. And they're not even speaking on this person. Oh, you know what, bitch? Uh-uh. Y'all y'all steer clear. I don't trust it. I'm telling y'all, please just make wise decisions. I don't trust this emperor. Because he betrays like he has let go of something. But he's going to let go of you. He's going to make you the toxic one. You might not be as codependent on him as he needs you to be. Because you know, an emperor won't full control. It ain't no way this emperor is having this kind of karma coming back to him financial droughts and stuff setbacks okay and lack of clarity because he's not he's not having this coming back to him for some for no reason he did something to this empress he's most definitely did something to her and because he's going back to her in her toxicity this is somebody who, who's probably talked bad about women i just said that didn't i people talking bad men talking about bad about women but really want her? Oh, no. Nah. Ten of Cups is in reverse. This is somebody they're in the family with. This family has in, and he's about to do everything he can to get her back. I don't trust this ignorant bastard. What happened to this Ten of Cups in reverse, spirit and ancestors? You didn't put your defense down to this op. You think this person is good, and he's not. Look, the Three of Wands in reverse. He can't even come close to this family. Something has happened. Somebody's standing their ground, and that's the motherfucking truth right here. Put this person in third-party situation, competition. She probably, he, she, whatever, had to compete with somebody. Mental state. This emperor has a mental is issue. This emperor could be the same emperor with a mental issue. You probably met this person like he was the Don Dada. Sweet emperor got himself together, and as time went back, he portrayed himself as an emperor. Okay, from King of Pentacles to Emperor, he's still getting this karma. Tell me about this temperance energy. Why? And it seemed like this Empress went off the heel. She went off the heel from all the trauma she endured. She was the one that possibly released him, or vice versa. I don't know. Tell me about this temperance energy, spirit and ancestors. Somebody's married or was married. Four wines in reverse. She's healing from a marriage. I'm telling you. This is crazy. Some this this emperor or this king of pentacles drove this woman mad. And then you think you think she been drawn mad. Now he about to do it to you, the nun. Uh um, what you call that? Hera uh, uh, a hermit. Now this person is lonely, sad, mad, miserable, because his marriage is over. He's not talking about it. He's not nothing. He's not saying nothing about the children. He's not talking about nothing. You need to talk to somebody about this person. You need to ask questions about them because they're not about to expose their hand. And if they're not talking, if they're not giving you the clarity that you needed, y'all think that judgment was in reverse. If they're not, they don't have the courage to tell you the truth, to explain things to you. You had the courage to stand up for yourself and walk the fuck away from this bastard, okay? I'm about to read that real quick and let y'all do what y'all do best. And uh, I'll see y'all on my other page because I'm about to do my other people on my other page. Number 10. Quick decision, accident, haste, and warning. This is a warning. Rider, fast motion, temporary joy, and activity. This person is coming to play with you until they can get this empress back. They're about to play with you, manipulate your mind, prey on your emotions. Oh, we didn't. Oh, hold on. This shit's still going on. Hold on. This King of Cups is here, baby. This seduction energy. They're seducing you. Trying, this person is a fuck. This bitch a whore. 
Okay, tell me about this moon energy for my Cancer Leo Cups. Why is this moon here for seduction? The Four of Cups. Oh, yeah, this is somebody else. Listen here, bitch, y'all crazy. You then went back or went towards somebody, a non-committal energy, possibly. This person is, is hiding that they're going to seduce you and go back after their missed opportunity. So they're going to leave you and they're non-committal at all. It's no commitment in this relationship, this situation or whatever this person is trying to offer you. They're going to use you until they get their shit together. They're going to use you emotionally. It depends on your relationship with this person. Emotionally, financially, or sexually. Until they move towards what they really, really want. Why is this Six of Cups here? Spirit and Ancestors. Tell us about this Six of Cups for my Cancer Leo Cups. You about to make an, have to make an impulsive decision. Look, somebody's trying to... Ooh, didn't I tell you this person is going towards somebody in their past? And this bitch is holding on. They're holding on. He's holding on. You could be the queen of wands in somebody's life that they're holding on to. This nine of pentacles keep coming out with this five of dog on wands. Okay. They don't want to fight. Whoever with the warrior of uh, 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 unks, of uh, cups. Who is this? Uh, maybe this dog on king of pentacles got another woman that he's holding on to from his past. Tell me more about this. God, what, what's going on with this God of Cups? This hair of fire keep coming out. He's non-committal, I'll tell you that. Why is the hair of fire here for the God of Cups? What's this Taurus? This it love. He's hiding something, you guys. Every These people hide and all types. Y'all can make this sound however you want to make it sound. Look, because the dog on... Strength in reverse is here. Bass is here in the upright. The nine of swords is here. And the three of swords is here. The hierophant came out with the moon. And the doggone king of cups. This person is hiding the masculine energy he's fucking with. Somebody's hiding their love. But I think this person is hiding. They're not committal because they have a secret. And their dirty little secret could be same sex. Don't ask me. This person has a hate. A hate. Somebody's trying to send something to you. But they don't realize you are protected by everything. Anything that's coming towards you, you are protected. They, their ancestors is not stronger than yours. Or, you know what? This could be somebody who ancestors don't even agree with what the hell they're doing. That's why your heart, your heart isn't really broken. Their heart is the one that's broken. Yours healed. You're healing from shit. This king of cups is crazy all these motherfuckers is crazy look i'm just telling y'all this right now i don't care how lonely you is just date date till you are healed date until it's somebody really really there that's really really understanding you emotionally and physically because look the six of cups is in reverse this person is obsessing over this shit that's where that bad energy coming from this person paints a pretty picture to you but it's somebody in a past they're not over a past relationship or they're still holding on to this shit somebody could be working fuciously to get everything done and make everything look pretty and to perceive that they're doing everything right and got everything going on so they can go back and get an empress and baby, we ain't got time for none of that, okay? None of it. They're seducing you. Or a third party is coming in to seduce this king of cups from the past. Let's see who the bitch is since she wants to show up. The queen of wands is here. Let's see what she wants. Tell me about this queen of wands, spirit and ancestors. What do this queen of wands want with my cancer Leo? Because queen of wands in reverse. She hasn't let go. She hasn't moved on, little petty little bitch. The warrior of swords, she coming to lie. She's stalking you. She's watching you. This little hoe, she's stalking and watching him. Why is the queen of swords stalking and watching whoever? Why is she out here lying? She won't stop talking about you, though. I'll tell you that now. She do not shut up. She want to fight you. Male or female, I don't give a damn. The bitch want to fight. She's a bitter little bitch. Look, her, she's intuitive, intuitively fucked up, and she wants the contract with this person. Bitch, we'll take the fucking contract. It ain't our fault. It, she ain't gonna get the victory, though. Look, because this isn't hers to be had. 
it's no victory in this love connection she's trying to put together because she's trying to go about it the wrong way. She's doing it with hate. Make sure you're not the third party interfering. Okay? She's intuitively disconnected. Okay? She's impulsive. Hey, Google. Play. And she's not going to get this fucking contract. This could be somebody he met her at work. Let's see what she want with you. What do this uh, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Spectres want with my Cancer Leo Cubs? Why is this Queen of Wands in reverse? What does she want with Cancer Leo Cubs? Hold on. Is it two bitches? Look, the Queen of Swords. Oh, she talking mad shit about you, bitch. She, ooh, this bitch hates you. She hates you. It's two bitches out here hate you. She want to fight. They want to fight. Ace of Swords, they don't have the clarity on who you is or who you fuck you think you is or who this person's still messing with, why he's still messing with her. This is the type of bitch. It's like, you still messing with that bitch? Yes, honey, here I go. We never stop, Okay. The Eight of Swords in reverse, they're trying to release themselves from this situation. They, they, they have to face the reality that this person is not going to leave them alone. Leave you alone. These some bitter duck ass bitches. Anyway, you guys, please like, share, and subscribe. Or this person finally made a decision about you and got these hoes enraged. They're refusing to move on. Two mad ass bitches. Honestly, two mad ass bitches who want clarity. But sometimes you don't need verbal clarity when you have visual clarity. If somebody keep popping, you keep seeing somebody at somebody's house or commenting on their post or riding by, wasting their gas and all of this stuff, defending a particular somebody, that's all the clarity you need. Some people just need to lick the bitch asshole they self to understand that this person is never going to stop licking it. You know, they got to listen. They gotta, they gotta eat the fruit box too, to see why it's so good. Peace.